What's up, gang? Welcome back for another episode of It's Always Sunny. Glad you're here with me again. I'm currently down with the sickness. I don't know if it's coming through on the mic different or anything like that, if it's noticeable, but I thought I should mention that right from the get-go, just in case I sounded different or anything like that. But hopefully it shouldn't affect my reaction at all because I'm really looking forward to hopping into two more episodes because last episode was an absolute blast. Got some hilarious moments, especially Especially towards the end when they were all dressed up and performing and then cricket getting taken out by the trash man it was just all executed flawlessly and this show has not had a misstep so far and so I'm expecting more great things going forward and we left off with cricket kind of being at a state of near death but I would assume that he's still alive although barely so I don't know when we're going to see him again and if that's ever going to be mentioned again if he's going to have like a scar or anything like that but the thing I love most about this show is that I cannot predict anything going into an episode because there's no way I could have seen the events of that one coming and so I'm heading into this one just hoping for a good time and hopefully you guys enjoy watching along with me for it if by the end of the video you do enjoy it definitely consider leaving a thumbs up always helps the video reach a lot more people helps the channel channel out i appreciate your guys support on all these and if you'd like to watch along with me for the entire episodes definitely check out my full length reactions on my patreon link for that is in the description below they're always uploaded before the youtube edits so if you'd like to get them a bit ahead of time that's where you can do it but without further ado let's go ahead and hop into the last upload of 2020 charlie kelly here local business owner and cat enthusiast is your cat making too much noise all the time? <laughs> Oh my gosh, what a freaking intro, man. This is perfect already. If there's any expert on cat noises, it's definitely Charlie. Think there's no answer? You're so stupid. There is kitten mittens. Finally, there's an elegant, comfortable mitten for cats. <laughs> Oh, this is brilliant, man. I hope the entire episode is styled this way. I couldn't get enough. Getting mittens. You'll be smitten. So come on down to Patty's Pub. We're the home of the original kitten mitten. <laughs> this dude is so animated, but so stiff at the same time. His production never ceases to amaze me. Oh my gosh, dude, what a freaking brilliant intro, dude. I love it. Charlie never fails to make me laugh. Is that just his pitch meeting for him? Are they actually going to start selling kitten mittens? I assume since it's the title of the episode that that's going to be the main focus, but you never know. I'm making a quieter cat. And then I made the sales tape when I heard about the merchandising convention. Oh, question. Matt, go. Uh, what merchandising convention? <laughs> I love that that's his only question after saying all of that. I would have a lot more questions for him. Charlie, I kind of like this. I might jump in on this with you here. I think it's a good idea. We could do t-shirts. We could do beach towels, those nudie pens. <laughs> I like that energy from D. I'm all on board with that. Charlie would absolutely get funding if he went on Shark Tank with this idea. I own 100% of the merchandising. It's in my contract. We got you to sign that contract so we could pay you less than minimum wage. To be honest, I don't even remember signing any kind of contract. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is great. These guys' business sense is so awful. Hey, 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 wait, what are you doing? Well, that doesn't nullify it, you know. Hey, uh, oh, why? Do you have another copy? <laughs> <laughs> the classic way of voiding a contract, just straight up eating it. Mac took matters into his own hands. Maybe I should slap a patent on my kitten mittens before you guys try and steal that too, huh? You know, I gotta say, Mac, my instinct to steal this idea is very strong. <laughs> First off, Dennis wants to jump in now, and the fact that Mac actually swallowed it. This episode is amazing so far. Green eggs, you keep them on your desk. It's just a jumping off point. Keeping hard-boiled eggs on your desktop is not a jumping off point. Well, you get the hell out of here. <laughs> Every time these three try to get together for a business proposition, Dennis and Mac end up kicking Frank out. Probably gonna have to turn the charm up a little bit in the beginning. See this picture of his wife right here? What if we like compliment her good looks? That's, you know. Gets us off on a good foot. <laughs> there you go, Charlie. There's the smarts. I think that just might work. Uh-oh. How, how 
did you get in here? Hey. Oh, we just... oh, this guy again. Let's go. The rivalry between him and Charlie continues. You are aware that there are other lawyers in Philadelphia? Uh, but you, the three of us have a history. And Charlie and I really like the fact that you don't charge. I do charge. You don't pay. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is so good. I freaking love the interactions between this lawyer and them. There's a mutual respect left over between no, us. Uh, any respect that you're feeling that's coming from me is a mistake on your part. Then I'll just regress because I feel like I made myself perfectly redundant. <laughs> And it always means that we get more Charlie legal jargon. And he's one of the few people that actually knows how to deal with the gang properly. The heretofore document had dry ink on it for at least many fork nights. Uh, here to... Yeah. <laughs> Fork nights. Oh my gosh. This episode is non-stop greatness. I don't know how it could go up from here, man. It's already so amazing. I think we need to be selling a certain attitude, right? One that reflects our rock and roll lifestyle. What says that more than this? Oh no, Dennis, dude, what is that? I mean, you cannot argue that he isn't rocking it, but I feel like Dennis also just wants the opportunity to give women underwear. Are women going to want to buy their underpants in a bar? Men will buy the underwear for their women in the bar because it's not for women, it's for men. I'm wearing because I want to turn you on, you know what I'm saying? Okay, man, maybe I misjudged Dennis's plan. He's got something here. He might actually make a killing. Everybody loves comedy, yeah. right? So when I'm funny, I, I can do funny. So I did one of those. You drew a men's buttocks on a towel. And then you give him one of these. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. The freaking giant sensor right there. I can only imagine what he drew there. That's just setup. What is it? Ding, 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 ding. Oh, it's a baby dick. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Dennis's reaction to this is enough. We don't even need to see it. These guys are so bad at creating stuff that they're almost great at it. I don't get it. Huh? Open your mouth. Prepare to be blasted. Brenda. <laughs> This is my new merchandise. <laughs> oh my gosh, of course it's gonna involve freaking firearms when it comes to Frank. Well, what the hell does she on? have to do with anything? You bring a woman with cans like that into the convention, you sell the idea in a second. <laughs> The fact he's talking about her like that right when she's next to him. There's too much madness in this room right now. A stress ball. You squeeze it when you have any tension. Right. Oh, God damn it, Frank. That's just an egg. It's a jumping off point. <laughs> Oh gosh, dude. Freaking pranked him unintentionally. Which one of them is actually gonna stick is the question. I'm guessing none of them. Why does he turn her picture away from him so he doesn't have to look at her face? Why are we in this shady motel where we saw him go in? I'm telling you, he's he's banging that secretary. Oh no, I think D actually figured it out. Maybe they can blackmail him into doing what they want. I see him. He's walking towards the car. He's walking towards the car. All right. Um, so what are you people doing in my car now? <laughs> Oh my gosh, they're in his car, what in the world? This is the absolute worst stakeout I've ever seen. I love how he was so calm right there too. You're having an affair and we're gonna blackmail you for your services. My wife is leaving me and I have to sleep in this flea bag motel. I am still very much in love with my wife, which makes this divorce very difficult. Oh shoot, this got heavy real quick. They clearly misjudged him, same with me. Are you ready to get blasted in the mouth by Patty Shotgun? One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. This is just so chaotic, man. Everybody in this episode has mad Charlie energy. Let's just make a video. Show that at the convention. Not like Charlie's video, though. Ours needs to be cool. Way cooler than Charlie's. Yeah. With, like, quick cuts and awesome music mm -hmm. and eagles flying through the air. <laughs> <laughs> we got eagles again. Hopefully they can get it right this time. And please tell me we actually get to watch another ad by them. You stole my idea. We took what was a good idea and we made it a great idea. You can't just take somebody's idea, change the name of it, and then sell it. That's the American way, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love when Max starts preaching about his understanding of countries and economics. I can't wait to see how this episode ends. There's so much going on. This is Sandy. Yep, and everything's been taken care of financially. Okay. She's been briefed on the divorce. She knows all about knows everything all about that's it. going on. You said bit. that we hadn't paid you. <laughs> 
gosh. They are so freaking tone deaf to what he actually needs. How are their situations so different, but yet they also hire a girl like Frank? Tell you what, buddy, I can help you out. I'm gonna toss a frame bang your way. I slip into your house one night while your wife is sleeping. He's into her real nice. Both cheating on each other. She can't clean you out. Dennis, what is wrong with you, my guy? It's the worst suggestion. Everyone, stop! I will take care of all of your legal needs if each of you agrees to never seek my legal advice again. What? Yeah. Great! <laughs> A win-win for everybody right there. I love how they're so chaotic that they just drove him to madness and accepted all of their proposals. We would also like to make a patent on Patty's shotgun. Objection! This is not a court of law. Sustain, <laughs> Frank! <laughs> oh my gosh, Charlie is taking over right here. <laughs> I made tequila bullets, but I guess I put too much gunpowder in. <laughs> Gosh, the lawyer almost could have died right there. What is happening? This situation is so freaking bad. Investment opportunity in merchandising for a Patty's Pub. Really burning you really control. Start you again. Start again. Yeah, it's good. Oh my gosh, for a second, I thought they were gonna play one of the other clips that they recorded. I thought we'd never see a shot from that again. Patty's Pub, home of the original shotgun, Er, good shot! <laughs> oh my gosh, dude, this is so horrendously edited. Nobody's gonna want this. I'm wasted! That's not all! Dictow.com, nudie pen! Yo, this is amazing. Egg. Egg. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. Literally every frame of this is a work of art. <laughs> they cut back to the fire footage again. Oh my gosh, dude. How do they freaking come up with this? Congratulations on the sale. How much money am I gonna make? Do what now? The contract you all blindly signed grants me 100% of the profits. Oh no, this dude freaking scammed him. What an absolute genius. I did say he's the only one who really knows how to deal with them. Let's split kitten mittens 50-50 and then you'll never see me again. The contract also included a restraining order. <laughs> <laughs> this lawyer is so freaking great. I love him as a side character. That right here. Ah! <laughs> oh my gosh, he did the same thing and they think it actually did something. I made hundreds of copies of that. You can probably stop eating that now. Oh, shoot, man, that's sad. I didn't expect that to end on a sad note like that. I mean, on one end, though, that ending was freaking hilarious and just capped it off in the best way. That entire episode was brilliant, man. One of the best episodes of the show, in my opinion. And I love how they had little subtle callbacks to other stuff, like the other video camera footage they had. That was so well done and edited. I mean, not the video they showed obviously but the episode itself the cast are absolute magicians with this show i seriously do not know how they pull off stuff like this every single part of this episode every word every scene was so fast paced had so much stuff happening that i could barely keep track of it all but it was so hilariously compiled and everything in it i feel like was a home run i've never really seen a comedy show like this where it's just so non-stop funny and absolutely packed with great stuff quite like always sunny they do not waste a split second of their runtime and it is amazing every single time they pull off an episode like this I mean every episode is fantastic but I feel like ones like this where they're just throwing so much at you constantly just ascend to a higher plane and the way they do these episodes 
episodes make you think that they're all about the quality over the quantity, but yet we also have the quantity as well, considering how many episodes we get per season and how many seasons there are now up to this point. And so this is really such a gift for viewers, and I cannot praise this show highly enough. Of course, very sad to see the ending note of the person who passed away there, but overall, just a fantastic episode. One of my favorites of the season for sure, but I mean, it becomes really, really difficult to pick favorites at this point because they all blend together as just this perfect comedic mass. But I really hope you guys enjoyed watching along with me for the chaos of this episode. So looking forward to the next one, hoping that it's going to be just as hilarious as this one, which I'm sure it will be. But if you guys would like to check out my full length reaction to this episode, definitely check out my Patreon link for that is in the description below. And I hope you all have a great new year. Look forward to more fun times with you all in 2021. And until then, I will see you all later. Peace.